lived on Nantucket. I managed the large estate on Nantucket for many years and uh, had was collecting antiques and uh, got to the point where I couldn't afford uh, what I wanted anymore. You know, my taste had elevated over the years. And so I made one thing and then another and and uh, taught myself how to carve. I, I had experience in stone carving. Um, I had no formal training in art or um, in the stone carving either, but um, I actually had met a man on Nantucket who was a stone carver, and he, I told him I was interested in what he was doing. So he had me come out and work with him. I think a lot of the inspiration for, for the artwork and the inclination towards the artwork came from music because I played trombone for many, many years. Music is creative and I, uh, I never had any, I was never good at art in school. So, um, but somehow I, I just felt like there was something inside of me that longed to be creative and if it wasn't musically, I, I found this outlet by accident. For a long time, I called myself a folk artist because uh, the work is very definitely inspired by um, mostly 19th, 18th, 19th century folk art work. And that's how um, I taught myself, was actually starting to recreate um, a number of folk art masterpieces. So there's this that piece um, that you guys just saw, I call it the Eagle Crimper. So it's that white piece with the patriotic shield with the anchor on it. That piece, I sat in the car um, and maybe within three minutes I just scribbled something out on a piece of paper and that was the basis for that piece. Essentially what I'll do is I'll take the concept, I'll make a, a two-dimensional, well it's actually three-dimensional, but I'll make a template um, that's a profile of the piece and from that build up um, or glue or laminate boards together to get the chunk of wood that the, the piece is going to come out of. The, the paint changes things entirely when, it, when I put paint on it. And I paint mostly everything. Um, even if I gild something, there, there's, uh, there's paint underneath uh, the gilding. So, um, but I enjoy the paint process because the paint process brings things to life. The thing that I hear from people the most is when when I explain to them about the folk art aspect of the work, and much of that is, is evident to a lot of people anyway, but they say to me, it's not really folk art, it's sophisticated folk art. It's contemporary folk art. And I think that's where my little niche in the art world is. Mm -hmm.